Hello there, it's Sandy Alnock here with another Bible journaling video. And since it is 4th of July weekend, which in the country I live in, in the United States, it's all about Independence Day and fireworks. And I chose to use a very simple portion of one verse from 1 Corinthians 6. You were bought at a price. And our freedom in Christ comes at a price. Our freedom as Americans comes at a price. And I'm going to be using this as my, my fireworks page on a piece of Tomo River paper that I have taped down to a board. And I'm just going to splooge colors on. I'm not going to get too excited about it. Just kind of putting some pinks and blues and purples together. And then I'm going to mix some dark color for the outside. And this is just going to be the first pass because on this paper, it's kind of hard to control some of the edges. So I'm going to just play around with controlling those. And I also want to note that this verse, to take it as a freedom verse, um, if you were to just look at it that as that, I know a lot of people will just Google a word from the Bible or do a, a, a word search and just randomly pick out a verse that has nothing to do with what it's all about. Well, this verse is actually about sexual sin is what it is discussing. And so if you are going to use a verse like this, make sure you read the whole thing in context. And, you know, I mean, this page doesn't have, you know, fireworks have nothing to do with sexual sin. But as I was praying through the verse, God called to mind all kinds of sins that some of which are related to that and others are just sins from which he has set me free. And that is what I'm celebrating on this page is that I am free of all of that. I was bought at a price and Jesus is the one who paid it for me. And I'm free from any of those sins and I can overcome all of it. If you're struggling with any sin that seems like you just can't let go of it, you can't stop doing it, we all have those things in our life. We don't we don't come to this like automatically ready to check a box and say, yep, it's all done. I, I'm no longer a slave to that. We are technically no longer a slave to that. It just takes us a long time to convince our minds of this so that we turn to Jesus instead of turning to that sin. So that was the first layer of color that I put down. And now I'm putting down another layer and, you know, mixing the paint as thick as I can. So I get really nice dark background around this area where I'm going to have crackling firecrackers and fireworks. And it takes sometimes even more layers than this, but I found that if I really mix the paint thick, I can actually get a night looking sky. This paper also has rivulets in it when it gets wet. So it's a little challenging to try to have big, large open areas because the paint collects in all those rivulets as it goes up and down and you end up with some funky textures potentially on your paper. So it can be a little bit harder than what you might automatically think in creating on this particular paper. But I love it because it's great for making tip-ins. So next up, I am using some white acrylic paint. Doesn't matter what kind of acrylic paint. And an old yucky brush. Don't use one of your good brushes because if you do that, you might be disappointed if you leave any of that white paint in it. Just make sure whatever brush it is that you wash it out really well right away. And dry your brushes flat all the time. If you put them in a cup to dry, you could have all of that water go down into the silver portion of the brush and ruin it and all your br bristles will fall out. So I'm just painting in now some fireworks. I have some that are shooting up from the ground. So I have little lines going up from the ground. And you'll watch as I do this, I'm using my fingers. I'm using a baby wipe. I'm trying to create some soft crackly areas around the little starbursts of the, the fireworks. Because they have those little things that kind of fly off the edges around them. And they have little teeny tiny dots. Now you could do that with finger painting, like I, I will do that in a couple of points, just try to get a little bit of paint on my finger and tap it on. And other times I'll use a pen for it, other times I'll use a baby wipe for it. Just use whatever works, play around with it. Fireworks are relatively forgiving. And I've got all that kind of messy, mushy color underneath of it, so it lends itself to the white paint also being mushy and spread out and that sort of thing, which is kind of fun. It gives the whole thing a a real air of motion 
as it is a giant painting of stuff that's flying around in the sky. Now there are many verses regarding freedom in Christ in the Bible. And this weekend, as we're celebrating independence and freedom as a nation, uh, you could also use this as celebration of dependence on God, because that's something that we need to know. We're, we're not independent of God and celebrating any independence from him. We're celebrating our chosen dependence on him. It's kind of the opposite of the whole uh, freedom kind of thing that everybody gets all excited about around 4th of July in America, because we are servants of our great and almighty king, and we can celebrate that we are his servants, and it's not a, it's not a bad sort of servitude. It's a good thing, because we are doing it by choice. We are doing it because it is the right thing to do. Because of what Jesus has done for us, it is the only right and true response that we can give to, back to God is to honor him by our service to him. So at this point, I switched over to a white pen. I kind of got tired of trying to do all the small details using <laughs> brushes and my finger and stuff. So it worked pretty well to go in and add some of those last details and make some of the fireworks look a little more rounded so that there's some of the thicker white areas around the outside edges of them and that sort of thing. Put some stars in the sky. And then all I had to do was trim it all down and I put some tape on the outside edge or the, shall we say the inside edge that's going to adhere it in my Bible. This stuff is super, super duper sticky. So be careful when you put it in there. Um, I did just see Monica Bauer posted a video about my watercolor animals class and she had something to say that I thought was pretty cool. She does tip-ins by putting a line of Elmer's glue along the edge and then tucking that in and she said it holds pretty well. I hadn't thought that it would hold well but she says it does so I'm gonna have to try that. So I had added my journaling on there called this page done and I will now return you to your festivities for the weekend. I hope you have a good one. Be safe out there and I will see you again next week with another video.